Hey guys, it's your man Jose here, and welcome back to a brand new review from Tomb on the Spirit Halloween 2018 Flying Vulture Animatronic. Uh, I didn't get this a couple weeks ago, and I'm finally getting around to making a review because I kept procrastinating on making a review for this guy, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. So, so that's that's good. I need to get this review out anyway, so I can posted early so anyways the vulture is sold this year at and it's being displayed on the spirit acres farm display when you first walk in you'll see it on the sign on the spirit acre farm sign and and it's very cool um this is one of my favorite props from this year uh when i saw a sneak peek i knew i had to get him because he was just so cool so let's head on this will be with the details starting with the head um all right so you got the head i uh, got all the wrinkles on the neck area sorry from shaking a little bit you got the eyes up here with the beak and you got some little uh, shadowing darkening spots around the eyes and around the beak to make to add a little more detail um the wrinkles like i said Added more detail over there, and then, on, and then around on the eyes, you got some like darker uh, pink, like dark pink, almost like a reddish, like a light red, dark pink around that. Give it more detail. You got this little rough, is what they're called for the vultures, this little white fluffy thing around the neck. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's cool, I like how it's all fluffy. That's cool. You got the wings, which they both have the same detail, but one's the left and one's the right. One is the left and one is the the white, wait, the right, there we go, the right wing. Man, I'm having trouble saying words sometimes. But they all, they have the same detail. It's more of like a felt on this wing part. And then up here is like a metal uh, wire, which you can bend the wing uh, to pose it. Actually, when you take it out of the box, it's like uh, wrapped in a circle. This is, so you're gonna have to like unwrap it once you're putting this guy together. And then on this little felt thing, um, I'm skipping any of my other props here, but you can see it a little bit, but there's the, there's the IR sensor right there uh, you got two pieces of a little felt on the body there's this main one which has a little oops, sorry like lurching reaper uh, but it's got these little rips or little things at the bottom kind of cool and then there's the other wing which is the same as that yeah I don't really have posts very well I give you some of it's like bent behind the wall. You can't really see it, but I don't, I don't, I don't really care. And then you got this other black uh, part to kind of like shape the body. And this one's just to cover that. But this one's just made to like shape it. So the vulture looks like you have the body. It's not just hanging down from him. I can see better. So here's the control box. You got the toggle switch. It has the off, on, and the step pad setting. Uh, he does not come with a 6 volt 2 amp adapter, which I stole this one from Lunchy Reaper. So, looks like I might have to buy another one or I can use them. Or it could be used with batteries too. I just have them on the adapter. Now you have a little eye of the. Let me get closer if you can hear me better. The IR sensor little uh, slot you have to connect that into for the IR sensor to work. Sorry if it's shaky, but uh, you have a little speaker jack and a step pad jack with all the little shiny buttons. This fine vulture. Take the 602 amp DC adapter or four double A batteries. Uh, you have to connect some wires up here, C and D. Uh, the middle slip of making fall, but there's a volume, there's a volume control, the speaker, 
and then the battery compartment which does take four double batteries I believe four um yeah probably four four or three batteries oh. so now I just turn flame voltage on Okay, it's very cool. I'll do one more tea time for you guys. So the wings flap, and the head is supposed to move, but mine doesn't. Mine, I don't think, moves. Or you can barely see into the whole body moves, and the eyes, and the whole head lights up. But, um, yeah, so he's very cool, um, I love him, he's, he's again one of my favorite props. So in conclusion, uh, the Flying Vulture is very cool, I, I recommend him to anyone, he's such a cool prop, I love him, I'm happy I got him. He's being sold for Spirit, on Spirit Halloween for $80, which honestly isn't bad, oh, I didn't even notice. It has some purple on the beak too, with some pink in the the mouth area. See, when you have the flash on, you don't even notice things when you do. Uh, so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, I love him. Uh, so on the recent team rating scale, I'm gonna be giving him a five out of five. He's such a very cool prop, as I keep saying, because I mean he is. He, he's one of my favorites from this year. So, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.